Hello, welcome to Pantheon of Geeks. You join us for an unboxing of Rum and Bones Second Tide. Yep, here it is. Here it is. This is the uh, the box game, because they sent the box name separate from the rest of the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. and this is our first official Kickstarter, Kickstarter. we've done. Yes. Because you might have seen the Black Plague we did, but that was an eBay purchase. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the first one we've backed. Um, and this is the second edition box. So it's in uh, Cool Mini or Not. Box. Box, which has come all the way from China. I tracked the whole thing because I'm sad like that. Yeah, every night you've been on the, the shipping. Tracked the ship tracking. all the way. <laughs> from wherever yep. it came from. So we're going to uh, get into the brown box first. There is a kniff. There is a kniff somewhere. <clears throat> it's been quite exciting really because we ordered this, well, we replaced the kickstart last year. Yeah. And uh, then it was just a case of waiting for it to all come out and yeah. everything. So it, it's, it's been quite exciting in a way. Okay. Ooh. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm going to turn it this way up. And then there's actually cold stone packing on it as well. Just pack that. Oh, the box. Good yeah, because there's a puncture actually in the box. Oh, yeah. But it hasn't hit the uh, this box. Which is good. Yeah, it's, oh, it's because there's a big gap, so that's really well yeah. packed actually. Well it done. Is. Well done whoever packed that. Thank you. So here is Second Tide. This is the main box game, as I said. There's a bunch of extras we've got for this. Well, haven't got yet for this, but is on the way. Mm -hmm. Which was with the Kickstarter. So um let's turn this back over. Uh, we have the Deep Lords and the Marera de la Morte. I thought I'd like you say because that's your side. <laughs> I've got the deep lords. So we have actually painted the first edition's uh, models. Yes. Which we did do an unboxing of, but we've done nothing else for that because second time is coming out and the rules have changed. So, let me get this right. After this unboxing, and we'll have a good look through the box, we will do a play mm -hmm. of, the, of the game before we've painted them. And then probably after we've painted them as well. Because we do want to have a look at it, see what it's like, and show it off. Oh. There we go, that was, that was very difficult. Right, so we have a piece of card. That is the second tide um, tide marketing for something the cracking or whatever it is. Mm. We'll find out. And then we have the rule book. Cool. We have a bunch of cards. We're popping out. Claude's doing that. I do. I don't blame Ryan doing it as well. It's kind of like stress relief. Yeah. It's like that bubble wrap, isn't it? And one just <laughs> fell out. <laughs> and then we have the coins. And here we have the boxes with the models in them. So we'll just put them to one side for a second. There's more stuff underneath. Oh, yeah. So we have the ship. Boards, so that's the Deep Lords ship, and then we have the two smaller ships, it's two Spanish ships, which are there, so they fold out. So that's the ones that make the board sections for these. And we have some D6s in black. So apparently, we're getting some, we did get some dice with it, they forgot to pack them with the main orders. So I'm not quite sure whether we're going to get them separate <clears throat> to the, the big order. Otherwise, they did say they were trying to set them at the ports and stuff mm. and put them in. But we'll have to see what happens with that. So we have some small cards. We have the large character cards. Which are much bigger than the first they are, ones. actually. Because you put the smaller cards, these ones, like the skills for them. So it works completely differently from the first one. Cool artwork on the back, by the way. And then we have these... I can't remember what they're called, so if they're not called the tag cards, I think they're called the tag cards. We might be wrong. We'll find out when we do the playthrough. And so obviously this is the first time I've opened this box. Mm -hmm. And we haven't played the original. We just got, the got it for the models, so we can use the conversion rules when we get that. So, shall we open small box or big box first? Um, small box. Small box? Yeah. Imagine this is the characters. I could be wrong, but who knows. Oh. <clears throat> ok, 
characters. Ah. So, for instance, we have Whale Guy. Whale Guy. Whale Guy. We'll proper look at these in a minute. Let's get them out, though. Ahab, whatever it's called. Well, I think it actually is an Ahab model. <laughs> uh, Leonardo. Uh, is it sweet? Oh, I'm making them up. I, yeah, I, I was no, going to say, you're I have making no idea what they're up. Uh, we'll find out before the end of this video. They're very cool though. And they feel a bit... It's, uh, you know, probably the same quality. They just look a bit sharp maybe than the first ones. I don't know. They feel a bit more solid as well. Maybe they've changed the plastic. Maybe it's my imagination. It's probably my imagination. I have a vivid one. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. We have uh, Tina Turner from <laughs> Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome. Um, we have Shelley. She's coming out of the shell. I don't know. Shelley. Number of the Captain. It's Captain. 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 Captain Mac Elizabeth the First. I don't know. <laughs> See, it's been well a long time since we uh, placed the order for this. Yeah. So if you'd ask me these questions, I don't know exactly who they were when I placed the order. But getting older, I keep forgetting things now. We have Shark Mandu, whatever his name is. Shark Um There we go. <laughs> so those are the characters. And then we have the bases. Uh, the different coloured bases for around the insert. So I assume this is the crew. We have the Spanish crew here. So we have Guy with Fish. Okay. Mr. Fishman. We have. Uh, I think they're bosuns, aren't they? Those ones with the fish. Yeah. We have uh, Show Off Buccaneer Guy. We have the uh, ship's tailor, by the looks of it, because he's got some scissors. And we have. Uh, this dude. He has a musket. I thought it was just a piece of wood at first, but it's just a musket, isn't it? There we have. Bosons, we've got um, that sort of squiddy tentacle girl. Oh, we have the cool crocodile guy. I remember him now. He's not, he's not oh, like a crocodile yeah. head. And then we have this guy with the big dagger thing. And we have this guy there as well. So I'll have a proper look at these in a minute. <clears throat> so basically, if you don't know anything about Rum and Bones, the first season was basically like a, a sort of English ex Navy crew, mainly sort of rogues, your standard sort of pirates of the sea kind of thing. Yeah. Jack Sparrow, Pirates of the Caribbean esque. Going up against the undead. So very much like, you know, Curse of the Black Pearl. This one's got sea people, monsters, in it. It's a bit like David Jones. So, yeah, very like much like David Jones. In yeah. fact, when we get the rest of the models, there is a model of David Jones who looks like David Jones from Paris to Caribbean. Yeah. Which is very cool. I don't mind. If I had mind, I wouldn't have bought it. I think the models look amazing. Uh, cool me and models. I like the idea. So, what, uh, what are we still taking? I'm, I'm still going. Still going. I'm still going. So, let's find out the names of these guys before we get into them. I'm as curious as probably nobody else is. Um, Get this um thing. Yeah. That's me done. It's you done, well done. Do you want to undo the other packet? Yes. 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 Oh. Oh, ho, ho. So the shark man do he's actually Carcarus. Then we have Ishmael, of course we do. Call me Ishmael. Waldorf. He's the quartermaster. We have Kira and Carl. Deep Lord's artillery. Come here. And we have Snapjaw. He's the turtle. Wasn't there, wasn't there a Snapjaw in Turtles? It probably was. What was that? There was an evil turtle thing on there. 
I'm wrong. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking no, about. No, you're probably wrong. Oh, shit, that was a bad turtle guy. Oh, I can't remember. If you know what, put it in the comments. I can't remember. And then we got the crew. And then we have uh, Viana. Viana. Viana, thank you. Don, Don Santiago. Santiago. Say that one. El Latigo. El Latigo. Uh, Gabriella. Gabriella, the gunner. Um, De Macro. Then um, you got the crew. The and then we have a. Kraken. The Kraken. 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 I'm not backing down that, it's Kraken. <laughs> it is Kraken. A lot of people say Kraken. I, I say Kraken. Tomato, tomato. Whatever. Kraken. Sea Dragon. Yay. So, actually, they've got the things on the back. So, mm. what are these? Oh, they've got the Deep Lords. And then we'll have. The Mara de Muerte. Yes. So, there we go. Uh, so, those little cards, mm -hmm. have you. Uh, these, oh, got the, I've got the bigger cards out. I think they're so called tied cards. Those cards. There you go. And get these out. So these are the ones that actually you randomly give out during the game. Loot of them. But we'll actually play a game. Uh, so we'll play a game. We'll set this up. We'll look at it. We'll play a game now. And then um, give you an idea of how it works. I might not play a full game. I might just play a couple of turns. So you see what it looks. Then we're going to go away and paint the models. And then we'll be back to play a full game. And hopefully at some point we'll get the the next part of this, mm -hmm. and we can show off our uh, existing crews, mm -hmm. my undead crew. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy painting them actually. They're very cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, so the little ones. These are the ones that go on to here. And you level up their abilities for the double sided. Mm -hmm. We'll get into that. So we're going to go away. For you, it will only be a few seconds. For us, we're going to. Sort all this out, have a look at the rules, and actually, we might play a couple of turns of the game. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll be back in a second then to do that. See you in a moment. Okay, so we've set up the board. We've got um, nothing, like I said, none of it's painted yet. Um, so we're just going to play through the first couple of turns mm -hmm. so you can see what the game's like, and then what we'll do, we'll go away, paint everything, come back, and play a proper game. So I can't get everything on because. The camera's only got this field of view, and it's taking up a three by three size table. <laughs> because we've, yeah. got, we've got all the cards off to the side, like this one, with the level one abilities where they're meant to be on there. And then we've got the models off to the side as well, on the cards, waiting to join the battle. Mm -hmm. We've also got the tide decks as well. There, yeah. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to shuffle the tide decks. And then we're going to do each ourselves. Three cards. So because this is kind of a tutorial, I wouldn't normally show your opponent or anybody else what you've got, but we will do. Uh, so you'd normally keep these in your hand secret, but I've got the ship be alive. When an enemy hero damages a deck feature on your ship, roll, d roll dice on a three plus, that hero, uh, deal a hero four damage. Ooh. And I got the same again. And I've got Wrath of the Kraken. Oh dear. A friendly turn. Make this attack on each deployed hero. Roll separately for each hero. Hits deal two damage for each hit. Reduce your Kraken pull by one. Cool. Okay. Quite useful. So I have um, <coughs> Golden Bullet. Uh, when an enemy hero is damaged by a friendly hero, discard up to four coins from that friendly hero. And that enemy hero suffers that much additional damage. Um, share the wealth. When a friendly hero gains coins, uh, what one other friendly hero may gain um, that much coin as, as well. And again another share the wealth. So there we go. Right. So the board we've got uh, your two ships, mm -hmm. the two Spanish ships. We have the ammo reserves here. We have the armoury here, we've got the start zone there, another start zone there. In the middle we've got the captain's chest. Mm -hmm. At your side you've got your other ship. I've got my other ship over here, I've got um, the rigging line and the the wheel. And you've got your two deployment zones there. That, yeah. In the middle is my ship with the armoury, the rigging, the mainsail, the wheel and the ammo reserves at the back. 
with three start points. The, the, and the. There's four guys in each of the centre places, and mm -hmm. you've got one lot there, and two lots there. So that's the starting cell. Mm -hmm. uh, off to the side, we've got all the, the stuff for the Kraken and the Sea Beasties. We've also got the, the wound counter. counters, condition counters, we've got the death coins, we've got the actual coins as well for money, and we've got the activation counters as well. So, first thing I'm going to do is roll dice. Got three. I've got three. You roll. Three. Right. So the deep lords will be going first. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> following the rules summary, because this is the first time I've actually properly played this. <laughs> Beginning with the first player, alternate activation of heroes until all heroes have gone. So, I'm going to activate one of my heroes. So when I activate here, I'll have to start on one of these points. Okay. So I'm going to start by activating uh, Evil Ariel, which is Kyra and Carl. Carl being the crab, she's still. She's going to start there. Right, okay. So she has three activations. Um, so I can use a skill, or I can attack, or I can move. So uh, that shouldn't be on there. Uh, so I've got the Spearfish Cannon, which is my basic attack. So if we look at these, these are the skills. So you've got your description, basic attack, and then your stats basically down there. So it's three, three dice, hitting on threes, with a range of two. And on, I'll show you the card as well. So on her card, you can see there, she's the Evil Ariel, with six life points. And those are what we are skills if we unlock them, but she starts with Spearfish Cannon. So she has a range of two at the moment. So my first action is to move. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move to there. One, two. Mm -hmm. uh, those guys are three away. So my second action is also going to be to move. Could have rigged across, but I don't want to be on that side of the ship. The last action is to shoot. So that's three dice. Hitting on threes, I'm going to shoot at that group in front of me, obviously. Nothing. Triple ones. Ooh. It's like a foobar. <laughs> Triple ones. We don't kill us. So that's my first activation, Oliver. Now it is yours. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go for uh, my swash buckler, who yep. is um, DeMarco. So he's going to start okay. off here. Good idea. Um, so his first action is to move. So I want to. So you can move up to two spaces when you move. Right. So that's these move. That's got him into. So he's in the next space now, so he can attack. So yeah. So I've got um, Avarice blades. Avarice blades. That's his basic attack, is it? Yeah. Four dice hitting on four. Red yeah. One. So I'll give it a go. Yeah, that's good. Four dice. 50 50 chance. Three of them. That's better three than them. Them. That's three wounds. <laughs> She's only got six. Right. And you got another activation. So you you can, with your basic attack, you can attack as many times as you want. It's the only attack you can attack as many times. Every other attack is just once. Right, okay, so. So you can attack again. Go again. And that's just one this just time. One this so time. that's two average there, actually. Yeah, so I've got three threes and a five. So she took four wins. There wow. we go. Okay. So. Yep, so now it's my activation again. Okay. So you brutalise my gunner. <laughs> um, I'm going to activate the captain. Oh. Karis is coming on. Oh, heck. So he's going to activate here. Okay. So the first thing he's going to do is try and, he's going to try and rig across. Okay. So to rig, um, basically, <laughs> you have to be on the side of a bolt, mm -hmm. which is. So that'd be one, two. So I need to roll two or more to get to the. Right. Once you get to there, it'd be a three or more, four or more. I could rig across all the way to the. Right. I'm going to go for. So the, it takes up one point of your movement, so I can still move one afterwards. Okay. I'm going to be risking trying to rig to the. Mm -mm. So I need a three. If I fail, it falls in the water. Four. 
We've done it. So your rigs to the. If you fall in the water, what happens to you? Uh, you basically you move the character from the board, put them back on the. They're not dead, but they spend the rest of the turn clambering back up again. So they're like KO'd kind of thing. Yeah, the KO kind of yeah. Right. So he's got one point of movement left. He's actually going to move to that. Okay. Well, he can't move to there, can he? Ah, so that's one thing. He can't move on to an enemy deployment zone. So that takes my idea away. Anyway, he's going to attack. Right. I was going to attack your soldiers. Now I forgot I can't stand there. Ah. So. You're going to attack DeMarco. I'm attack DeMarco. So I could have actually done that on a two plus. I could have rigged to there and rigged to there. I made that harder than I needed to. Uh, <laughs> made it exciting though. It's because I'm a strong. I'm not sure. So, <laughs> Carcass is feeding frenzy. I've got two actions left. It's the one I'm going to be using. Um, basic attacks, hits of a six, cause bleed. Oh dear. And increase the cracking pull by one. After each, rolling for each hit, roll five plus, makes an additional roll. So, his first set of attacks, that's four attacks coming in at fours. That's three. Three, right. That's three wins. And um, with my last action, I'm going to attack again. I didn't get a six under that. No. I've got two fives though. Yeah. So that's their additional, nothing. Right. And two more two wins. Two more wins, okay. With another roll, which is nothing. Right. Total five wins, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, uh, if I'd rolled a six, it would have also caused bleed. Ah, oh, right, okay. That's but it doesn't. His, yeah, that's his activation order. Okay. So okay. passes back to yourself. Right, Um. Shall I go with my captain, do you reckon? Or, um, how about my brute? Your brute? You can stand there and try and attack my captain as well. That's what yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah. Go so, for it. This is my brute. The brute. It's, so it's uh, called Don Santiago. The Fisher King. The Fisher King. Was it the Fisher Lord? Fish, the Fish Gutter. Yeah, the Fisher Lord. So Fisher Lord. Yeah, the Fisher Lord. So he's, he's there, he's got three he's activations. There. Yeah, and he's got a uh, Fish Gutter. That's right. his car. Was that bad boy do? So, um, if Santiago has six or more... And let's be honest, Carcass is a fish. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is... Uh, if Santiago has six or more damage, hits of a five plus deal two damage. Well, oh, hell. Right, I'm just done. Uh, well, he's not got, oh, he's not any, he's not got any damage on him one. yet, but I suppose That's that... Okay. He's got 12, 12 hearts. Hits. Yeah, the so brutes are like the big tank things. Yeah, so the, the more you damage them, the harder they the, get. The, the harder he's going to hit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he's just got a box standard. Is it fours? Hitting on fours? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So they won't do any special thing. No, so it won't activate anything. But he's got three activations. So right. So is it four dice? Yeah, hitting, hitting on fours, fours, yeah. Again, that's three. That's three hits. So that's your first attack. Second attack. Two. two. That's five hits on your last attack. It's one. One. Six in total. Four he wounds left on the captain. And it's in my turn. Yes. Uh, You're going to bring your own brute in? I'm going to bring my own brute in now. Okay. Which is Ishmael. Uh, we are going to... I don't know where to reinforce my captain, I've got the other way. Because my, my captain's been injured. Something rotten. Um, I'm actually going to go the other way. I was going to say I have a push so, going that way. He's going to spawn there. I'm going to make a move roll and a rig roll. Okay. So he's going to move to there. Yeah. And even though he's a huge guy, he's going to rig across. My second point of movement. Uh, so I'll just try three to there. Three to that. Can I do it? Three. Four! Oh, yeah, yes. well done. So your rigs across. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So that's his first action. Mm -hmm. The second action he's going to use is his attack, which is blowhole. He pushes enemy heroes up to one zone. These guys aren't heroes, so there's no effect on them. Is that not your second action? No. Nope. First one to move to there, second to. Yeah, no, I got oh. two movements, and one of them was to rig. Oh, so that's right. one action. Okay. So two lots of attacks. Shooting. Uh, bottle, like these <laughs> yeah. So that's two hits. Okay. So the first casualties are the bolsons from here. That's two of them. Yep. And in return, not bolsons, uh, deckhands. Uh, deckhands, <coughs> yeah. Bolsons are on round basis. I get two gold for that. 
Okay. And his last action is to kill another one. You still got a guy left. Right. <laughs> there we go. Um, I want to save that wrath from the crack until you got more heroes on the board, I think. Right, go on. It is your turn. Okay. This guy's on his own defending the ship. Yeah, so you I. can't spawn right behind my guy though. Yeah, so I need to get some guy there, don't I? Really? Some guy. Some guy. Mm. Need to get some uh, guy. Uh, maybe captain. captain, yeah. Captain, bring my captain on over there. So this is. Uh, Viana. Viana. Yep. So she's got three activations. Yeah, so hers is uh, Windfall. That's. There's there. Fours and fours. Each roll of six generates a coin. Mm hmm. To a friendly hero, uh, and she also has another ability. Yeah, which is tariff. Yeah. So when Viana activates, steal up to one coin from it for an enemy hero, and place it on a friendly hero. If you have less victory points than that enemy, steal up to two coins instead. So you can steal one of Ishmael's coins. Yes. <laughs> and give it to anybody. I'm gonna give it to Demarco. Okay. Because if he discards a coin, his attack gains plus one to hit. Oh no. I <laughs> Okay, so, okay. so she's still got three activations, yeah. and that's just a trait that just works when yeah. she comes on. Yeah. So, four dice, falls to hit. Yep. Nothing. Nothing with the first activation. Second. Two. Two. Well, there's two wins. We've got 12, he's the brute, so it's not very easy to set it down. One. That's one, uh, but it's not six, is it? No. One. Okay. Righty. Snapjaw. The old mucker. I'm going to bring Snapjaw on. Okay. So he is my swashbuckler. I should in theory be the best. Yes, I'm going to come on. I'm trying to do some damage with Snapjaw. Okay. Snapjaw is going to... Who do I help? He's alright, he's not too bad, he's on there. I'm going to spawn now and I'm going to ring across. Okay. And try and help out my captain. So if I rig to there for a two and then I move one to stand next to um, fish Santiago. Man, fish killer. That's the plan anyway. So rig, yeah. six, yes, we're across. One movement, that leaves me two activations. So I am going to use his ability which is Biting Blades. So if I increase the Kraken Crawl by one before rolling the dice, I get two extra dice. Okay. So I'm going to increase my cracking pool by one. Okay. So instead of three dice, I will now get five dice. Hitting on threes. Okay. So I'm going to attack your boot. Mm -hmm. My first activation. Uh, hitting on threes, so that's four. Right. I'm going to do it again, increase my cracking pool again. That's three more. Choppy choppy. Mm -hmm. But now he's took damage, so his special ability will work. Yes, <laughs> his special ability will kick in now. Yep, so it is your turn. Right, um, well, I've got my gunner and my quartermaster left. So I think I might bring on Gabriella. Yep. I've also got the cruise to activate as well, nothing. Oh, yeah. Um, where, where's best to place her? You can place her there to move to shoot him. Mm, or I could place her here and shoot the captain. Yes. You have to move. Oh, what's her range? One, two. Uh, two. Two, yeah. So you have to move at least one and then you can shoot twice in the back. Oh. I'm going to do that. Yeah. So I'll move one because so. you measure range yeah. in straight lines. Yeah. So you can't go one, two. You go. One, two, she should have to be stood there. Yeah. Shooting. Uh, so, yeah, so she has two activations left. So she's got three dice. She's three dice hitting on threes. Yep. Any ability? Uh, for, for each hit of a six, roll one additional dice. Okay. So the first one does two wounds. So you're on six. He has two left. Right, so one last turn. Yep. And that's two. 
Okay, we have a captain down. So you have taken out Carcross. He's shot in the back. But nobody dies. From no the one frame, dies. Because David Jones isn't here. So we take a black coin. Is activation. Is any coinage for She has three coins for that. Coinage. Okay. Which you can and use it. immediately or just keep hold of. You don't lose, you rarely lose coins, which I'll say. Um, Especially because I don't think I'd so I, to steal coins if, off you. If I spend these coins, I could buy another thing. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, you can upgrade one of her other skills. Is it four to rid of starting skill? Yeah, but I've got smelter bomb and flashbang bomb. So you could buy with those. And they stay upgraded even after death. I think I'll go for a smelter bomb. Yep. So I'll spend those three coins. Yep. Do I get any victory points for that at all? Yes, you also took out a guy, so you get victory points. You're right. on one arm and nothing. I just wondered how you got victory points. Like that. Like that. <laughs> Doing so that. So what do I say? Smelter bomb. So. Right, so here is the smelter bomb. So it's one dice, hit on a three, range two. My prioritised heroes discard any number of coins before rolling to hit for plus one damage per card. So the more coins you got, the more damage you'll do. Nice. That's in there. Okay. If you don't see, so I'll just take that. So your turn. So I've got my crew or my quartermaster left. Uh, quartermaster. Right, so I'm bringing one off on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I still think this side needs more guys. So he's going to come on here. Okay. And uh, once during his turn, he uses Bissell Summons. Oh. So by increasing the cracker pull by one, which I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm insane. Yeah, I don't like this. Increase the cracker by one. I can immediately deploy up to two deckhands in a zone containing friendly crew. Then activate all crew in that zone. So, I need two of my deckhands, which are all in the box. I just realised I should have used that to share the wealth. What is that, sorry? Uh, when a friendly hero gains coins, one other friendly hero may gain that much coin as well. I'll use it next time. Take it, mate. No, I'll... I'll... We, it's not your fault you forgot. We're doing the demo, so just take it. Alright. So, I'm going to yeah. use that card. So, um, that was three coins, wasn't it? Yeah. That she gained, so... Another one of your heroes. I'll go for oh Demarco's injured. The quartermaster's got to go yet, so you can actually upgrade him because that doesn't cost. Yeah, it's, it's cost <laughs> two actually, so I'll even with one. I'll, I'll upgrade try harder, which is a new. Yep. So mm. I'm going to deploy these guys here, and then these activate, so they activate by moving forward. Right. So try harder. Maybe used as a basic attack. Sure, I'm going to undo that because I was stupid. I'm going to move two guys to here <laughs> and activate them. Right. So they move forward. So try harder is target one zone with um, within three containing friendly crew. All crew in that zone immediately attack. KO one crew in that zone for each miss. That's what you've got, is it? Yeah. Cool. And he's got to activate it. Yeah. Okay. So what else going to rig across? Okay. So yeah. that was the only space available. Yeah. So he, he definitely does it. Yeah. Uh, he's then going to focus his attacks. He's got one movement left actually. Hasn't he? Yeah, because so, that was just one, wasn't it? Yeah, so he's actually going to move this way and attack your swashbuckle. Demarker. So he has four attacks hitting on fours. This attack chaos a bosun or hero. Deploy one bosun in a zone containing friendly crew. Right. So that's. Uh, oh, it's four dice, sorry. That's two hits. Two hits? Yep. Right, so he's got one hit left, hasn't he? And my last action causes one hit. Yeah, so that took him out. that's taken him out. So I also get to deploy a bosun as well oh, as getting three gold. Oh. Ching, ching, ching. I'm back. Do I lose any coins at all? No, you keep no, your coins. keep my coins, right. In this version, you keep your coins. Okay. Uh, in a zone containing friendly crew. Douche. Uh, that's his turn over, so now it's your turn. Right. I'm going to bring on my quartermaster, El yep. Latigo. Yep. Um, I don't bring him on over here because all the action seems to be over here. Yeah, we're on your side. Yeah. There's all your captain and Ishmael over there. Yeah. Um, I'll bring 
him on over here actually. Yeah, you can move through your own guys. Yeah. You can move through any guys really, as long as you don't end your turn. Right. So you could move one, two, and attack Waldorf. Or you could go the other way and try and board my ship. Or you can attack that guy for three activations. We'll attack that guy for three activations, yep. see what happens. So I'm going to go with... You're attacking stop draw. Yeah, I'm going to press gang. So um, that's three dice hitting on threes. Uh, that's three hits. Yep. Uh, so that's turn one. Three hits. Yep. Yep. Three mm. more hits. Three more hits. Is this your? This is. Wow. That. Um, threes. Yeah. Cool. Is that, that's right, and it's three what, plus. What's his ability on that? Sorry. Uh, that's if this attack carries any deckhands, deploy one deckhand. Into his own containing crate. So he's only got two wounds left. It's a bit like my ability. Yeah. So he's only got two wounds left. So, so that was my second action. Yeah, he got it? one more. And those two wounds are gone. <laughs> so you can't another member of the crew. Wow. Well. So you get three gold. And your captain's ability, does that trigger? Or does that. Uh, that's only when VR oh, no. activates. It was, uh, you've got another card, haven't you? You've got a duplicate. Oh, yeah, I've there. got a duplicate, yeah. So you can use that. So there. I can use that as well. Yeah. So I'll get another three coins. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me about that. Yeah. Just... Yeah. Um, who do I give these to? Give them to my captain for now. Yeah. And um, I'll give these to um, El Latigo because he earned them in that one there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. So, turn goes back to me. I've only got my crew left to activate, but I also have Wrath of the Kraken, which is on a friendly oh turn. <laughs> So make an attack on each hero, uh, each deployed hero. No separate for each hero. Okay. It's even my own, so. <laughs> even your own? Yeah, each deployed hero. Yeah. Ooh. It's like the Kraken coming up. Right, me. okay. So I'm making this attack on each deployed hero. So don't want to use it. the uh, victory point up. You've got four of you. I mean. I've got one, two, three, four on, yeah. Got four guys. Yep, so it's hitting on threes. Right. And they do two damage. Are you going for first? Do you want to? We'll start at your side with you. Dude. Santiago. So it's miss. This could backfire this tremendously one? now. Uh, it's a two. Uh, it's a miss. Okay. Three, so she takes two hits. Two hits. Yeah. Um, do you want to do your guy? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, two is a miss. Thank God for that. My gunner. Uh, what was your gunner? Yeah. Uh, backfire. Right, I knew I was going to happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she gets KO'd. Yeah. Oh. Um, do you get money for that? I wouldn't have thought so. Because uh, it's not something I've done, is it? If a hero gets KO'd by an effective attack that didn't originate from a hero, such as crew attacking a condition from a title card, the enemy hero gains a coin. Really? And the faction is awarded a victory point. Oh. For me being stupid. So, that goes <laughs> up to three, because I put a victory point. But my crack and pull goes down by one. Right. So I'm going to give that to... Um, I'm going to give it to Diana. Crikey, Ooh. is what I'd say. So. That, that was unfortunate, because you could have awful. gone... And uh, Ishmael. Yeah. Takes two hits. Two hits. Watch your captain not take any night. <laughs> oh, she takes two hits. Two hits. I'm shocked. That was a pretty bad idea. Uh, <laughs> you idiot. So what was right, it? Have you, so got a, have you got a four or something, was it? That you threes. Threes. Oh. Yeah. So the crew are going to activate. The crew activate along the lines. So mm -hmm. any crew that are here will move in this direction. Right. Any crew that are there will move in that right. direction. Right. My crew in the middle will move this direction. And these My crew on the edges them. will move in that direction. So when they right. activate, they all move one. Right, okay. These guys are going to go this way. Actually, wait, no, that's the activation order. First thing you do is spawn new crew. Oh, right, okay. Yes. We spawn new so crew. So I deploy two deck hands on three friendly deployment zones. So I need two deck hands. Six in total. Um, you need six. And two bosuns. I'll take to fire the deck gun. 
There's tea for you. And two more. Tea. Two in the middle. And there's another two. And did you say two bosons? Two bosons, please. You've got a boson out already, haven't you? Yeah, summon. Oh, sneaky. Did you forget to summon the guy as well? Should you have summoned the guy? No, it's only when I kill a deckhand. Only when you kill uh, when, a deckhand? Sorry, when I KO a deckhand. Just a deckhand? Just a deckhand. I can deploy. Yeah. yeah. Boson and boson. <laughs> right. So we deploy the new guys. I need to do I deploy mine as well? No, in your turn you do. Oh, um, I, I could find a deck on it. I could deck gun first, but we're gonna move them. So these guys are gonna go there. These guys are gonna go there. Oh those two are they, are they saying that? No, they'll move forward one. These guys are going there. I think that's right. Just let me check the chart in the book. Make sure. Done that probably. Each setup's got its own direction the crew will go in. There we go. Oh, yeah, so did that wrong. Alright. Yeah, they should have been deployed there. Two guys would have been deployed there. I think that's right. Hold on. Oops. <laughs> Should be on the deployment zone. Alright, oh, okay. So we'll put two guys back there. We'll move that bosun there and right. that bosun there. Okay. So yeah, those guys are gonna move there. Then from there they move to there, from there they move to there, from there they move to there. Let's do it correctly. There we go. Okay. Uh and then I'll they'll attack anyone, but there's no one to attack. So that is my crew turn, but I do have my deck gun to fire. Dagon is four dice hitting on fours with unlimited range. Use your most wounded hero. Uh, that would be brute. Which but he's got tons of wounds. Yeah, uh, the captain or the gunner. Right, I'm gonna roll four four pluses and kill your gunner. Okay. No, I'm gonna roll two four pluses and not kill your gunner. But you take two wounds. Two wounds. Okay. <laughs> right. So now you, you go, and the only thing you've got left to activate is your crew. Mm -hmm. So we'll do it correctly first. So, so you're going to want two guys that should be deployed. You've got four deployment zones. Yeah, I've got. So, so you've got three here. Where do you want to deploy? Can I deploy two over there? You can deploy two there and two there if you wanted. Yeah, I think I will actually. Two there. And there's three there. <laughs> and two there. Oh, right, okay. And then you've got um, those two to deploy in one of those two zones. Yeah. Um, on here, you mean? Yeah. yeah so and you got two fish wheeling bosons as well. So can I put two there? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Then. Um. Do you, you've done everything. I've done everything. You I'm have two bosons left there. Uh. Okay. Um. Can I have a boson over there? Yep. And um, one over here. Yep. In there. So now your crew will activate. So. The, these this guy will move forward on his own to face the hole that's going towards him. This guy will, these, these guys will move to here, won't they? Those guys will not move because Ishmael's in the way, so they'll attack him. These guys will move to there. Those guys will move forward. To here. And the three you deployed over will move on to the rigging. Onto there. Yep. Right. So you go. So I said these two, everyone else is there, your heroes. No, wait a minute. Those guys, yeah. So those guys can attack Waldorf or the crew. These guys can attack Ishmael. I think these guys will attack the crew because there's quite a few of them. Well, there's four of them, isn't there? So yeah. that's four dice. They're normal guys, aren't they? They're also deck Yeah. So deck hands get one attack each, hit number four. And you've killed two. Let's put them down a bit. So that's two gold. Right. I believe. So we go to the. What did you get gold for? Anytime a hero scaled or a deck hand or a boss and gain one gold. Yep, so you get two gold to give to anybody. Anybody? Yep. I give it to Jamarco for now. So that's all I can do, isn't it? I can't do my deck gun time. Yes. I, oh, I can? Yeah, uh, but you got these guys first. Alright. Oh, two guys attacking Ishmael. Alright, two dice. One. 
So you got your deck gun, which is four dice in on fours. Uh, he's quite wounded. Uh, Ishmael's got a lot of wounds, but he doesn't got a lot of wounds left. She's down. Should we, should we put a black coin on Evil Ariel? I'll go for uh, Waldorf, is it? Waldorf? Waldorf? Yeah. Yep. So four dice, did you say? Yep. Uh, two. Two. Two threes and two fours. He so gets two wounds. Okay. So now we've both gone. Mm -hmm. So that's the first part of the turn. Next turn is to unleash the Kraken. Oh no. The Kraken is not on the board. Roll two dice. That's one each. No, I think, I think we're alright. So, yeah, six. If the result is equal to or lower than the total Kraken points, so you would have had to both roll a one. Right, okay. The Kraken won't be deployed. If the Kraken is on the board, it activates. So we're now in the recovery phase. Most players discard any tied cards they, they wish and take the hand back up to three. So I'm going to take one, which I'm gives me protection of the deep. Two. When a friendly hero suffers damage, prevent the damage on that hero equal to the number of Kraken symbols in your Kraken pool, including from this card. Okay. Uh, I've got another golden bullet. Uh, which is discard up to four coins from uh, that friendly hero and that enemy hero suffers that much additional damage and I've got heat stroke so when an enemy hero activates that hero suffers, suffers stun yep so if any enemy heroes have the golden dead man's coin uh, you can remove that immediately none of them do they're all black if any yep. heroes have a black dead man's coin flip it to the golden side okay and uh, move the first player token on the dashboard to yourself. So now you will go first. Right. And then a new round begins. The player will continue until one of those eight victory points. You already have three, I have none. Because <laughs> I'm a moron. So I'd kill my own guys. <laughs> right. So, my first go, I'm going to. Uh, oh, I don't know. Try and finish off. Uh, that's Waldorf, Waldorf isn't it? Yeah. yeah, try and finish him off. He's got six wounds left. Well, he's going to be hitting on... Um, he's got six or more. Hits of a five plus deal. Two damage. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, if I stand where I am and do three activations and hit him... Yeah, that could pretty much kill him. Three dice. Four dice. Four dice, is it? Four dice. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's got four next to the... Yes, correct. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So, that one will deal two extra damage. So it takes two damage from that roll. Great. Place that, so he's on four damage. Right. Four hits left. Uh, so that's... Three damage. Yeah, well, hits of five or more, so those two will hit for yeah, four. Yeah, four of us causes one. Yeah. So they cause two, do they? Yeah. So he's dead. <laughs> you get three coins. One, two, three. And I get a... Another victory point. Yep. It's going to be over fast. Uh... So I'm going to do two turns, I'll be over in two turns. <laughs> can I spend those now? Yeah, of course you can. I'm going to spend it on um, reel them in. Reel him in. Which is a new skill for him. Uh, there we go. So, maybe used as a basic attack. May prioritise heroes. If this hits an enemy hero, you may place him in any legal zone within one of Santiago. Okay, so that's my turn done. Yep. Your turn next. My turn next. Yeah. I've ordered Ishmael to activate. Um, I'm going to put everything I've got into hitting this. Okay. It's, it's got nobody on it. Yep. It's got six hits. I'm going to try and take out the captain's chest. Okay. Ooh, come on, Ishmael. Call me, Ishmael. Forced hit. Does he get any hard ons for being the brute like mine does? Uh, not. He can push the heroes up to one. It don't get any extra. Oh, things. right. Okay. I was wondering if you've got anything like. Not yet. We've got two coins in our, so I can't even do anything with that. Oh. Actually, I can buy overhead smash. 
Let's have a look at that. See what that does. Cause... Before I do anything else, let's find out overhead smashes, because that might be a good idea. Uh, deals one damage for every three damage on Ismail. May attack this. Uh, may attack. Make an attack for free after rigging. Alright, so it's like cannonballing into something, isn't it? Yeah. So one damage for every three on Ishmael, so he's got six. So do two damage per hit. So that's like. Why I roll one dice. So I'm going to buy it. I haven't got any skills <laughs> on my turn yet. <laughs> So I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to use it, I don't think. Okay. Because I've got one dice to roll three and I'll hit with two. So I've got two, one. So I've got two and three chance of hitting and getting two damage. I can do that once. Or I can p try and pummel this with my bullet hole. I'll <laughs> pummel it. <laughs> so it's got six hits and I'm going to attack it three times, which is 12 dice, and hit it on the floors. So probability says I should destroy should the captain's chair. Let's see if probability holds up. Uh, I'm going to start with two hits. Okay. We're going to follow up with two hits. Okay. So Probability is holding so far. Two more hits and you've got it. Two more hits. You've exactly. Well done. Well done. So that's four coins, isn't it? You get. Yeah, four coins. And how many uh, victory points? Three victory points. One, two, three. Can't just do anything else. It's just worth a lot. <laughs> I've nicked your captain's chest. Yeah. Well done. Captain has a nice chest. Of course, I'm talking about the gold and the put on the thing on the captain's chest. You're getting the else. slap afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so I got four gold. I'm just going to look at channel the depths. Okay. Uh, increase my crack and by one, and heal the Shmel for one for each hit. Increase your ground pull by one after rolling. Heal this from one point for each hit. Sweet. Well, I'm going to buy that immediately. Okay. Here's my full gold back. Alright. Got a My only crew member. <laughs> no, <I should> <laughs> right. Um, let's see. There's lots can do. do. Yeah, um, shall I move, can I move her through there and start shooting at these guys? You could move her to the to that square where all your crew are and start shooting those guys. Right, and, and then, then she's, 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 she's covered by the crew. Cov well. Yeah, so I'll move her to here. Yeah, so that's your movement. Movement. And then two activation to shoot those. Yep, so yeah. many dice have you got? Um, three. Three? Hitting on threes? Yeah, because I'm going to use the alchemist fire. Yeah. So, yeah, so hitting on threes. So. It's three. Yeah, for, oh, hang on. For each hit of a six, roll one additional dice. Yeah. So that's. It's two additional dice. Yeah, so this is the two additional that's dice here. And is it a. Yeah. What, yeah. That's four coins. Okay. You got an activation left. I'm going to give them to Gabriella. Activation. Yep. You can also buy stuff, remember, before you activate. Yeah. I'm going to spend three and. Uh, oh no, I might up, uh, upgrade uh, Alchemist Fire actually for four coins. Yeah. So, back. four coins there. I'm upgrading Alchemist Fire. So, for each. So, four dice hitting on threes. Yeah. And for each roll of a six. Yeah. So you've increased the number of uh, dice you're Yeah. By one. Yeah. Uh, she's still got activation left though, so you can pass if you don't want to move her out. Yeah, I'll pass for now. Cause... Or she could rig across. But then she's on her own, isn't she? So... Yeah, but if you rig to there, if you can roll a three, mm -hmm. you can move to the um, yeah 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 okay fair so I'll, if you move to there for a four you can move to there and then they can't go that way so i have no one to reinforce my ship my ship's open yeah but that's a bit of a risky move isn't it we could take out my armory though how many moves has she got left then she's got one activation left so you can rig for one two three four yeah it's four and then I'm stuck there. And then you'd move with your last bit of movement to, to there. there. 
and then I'm stuck there. Until next time, yeah. Yeah, so... Or you just stay where I am. I think I'll stay where I am yeah. for now. Okay, He's so... He's getting pushed off. <laughs> so the only thing I've got left to do is activate my crew. So I'm going to activate my crew. Okay. So first up is reinforcements. So I get two reinforcements on each of these. It's all these reinforcements. So get two bosuns. Get you the bosuns. You have one bosun left after this. Bosun. Bosun. Right. So they're going to move forward. And they're going to move forward. And they're going to move forward. They're going to move to that. They're going to move to there. They move to that. They move on to that. to that. And then... This lot? Those four, five, are going to attack your crew. Okay. So this is the first time seeing Bosun in action. So Bosun rolls two dice and hits on a three. Your crew roll one dice each and hit on a four. But the Bosun also adds plus one to hit for all the other crew. Oh, okay. So it's actually six, there's five guys, mm -hmm. plus one for the boss, and that's six dice. Mm -hmm. All hitting on threes. Okay. And that's four dead. Kill them all. That's four bits of gold. I thank you. So, <laughs> I'm going to give them all to Karkaris. Actually, no, yeah. I've got one guy left, it doesn't really matter, I give them to. We give them to Karkaris. Okay. Uh, these guys, there's four of them. Hit on fours, attacking your own crew member. He's bravely defending your ship, but gets slaughtered in the process. Okay. Also, gonna give that to my captain. Um, can you do that actually? Is it offering the crew? Yeah, actually, this is that wrong? I just shouldn't get that gold. It's only. It doesn't work like that. It's the crew that gets it. Yeah, but they don't get gold, so. Oh, right. That's unfortunate. I got gold before, didn't I? It's fine. We'll pass on. But what happens is because they killed everybody in this zone, mm -hmm. they now move forward. They don't attack again. They killed everybody in that zone, so they so move they, forward. So they move forward as well? Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, they were there. Th they've all moved, yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it's my guys now, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, you've got you still got heroes to activate them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, this guy, uh, yeah. El Latigo. The Quartermaster. Yeah. I think he needs to get over here, quick, smart, and start. So he can use two of his movement to get to them. So it's two of his uh, actions to get to them. One, two. And then move again. But, so you lose point of movement, but you got one activation left. So he's going to use. The uh, press gang. Press gang, yep. yep. So that's uh, three dice hitting on threes. Yep. So that's three have gone. Yep. So if this attack KO'd any deckhands, deploy one deckhand into a zone containing crate. Over there, actually, yeah. Yeah, because I can so, attack Ishmael. So, I, I got three there, didn't I? Yep. So there's three. Goodbye, crew. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, that's your activation. Yep. I've no one left to activate, so okay. it goes over to you. <laughs> so, who, who have I got left to activate? I've got Viana, haven't mm -hmm. I? Viana's not activated. Yep. So, she's going to attack um, Ishmael. We should really be using these activation things, but I forgot all about them. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Right. Yeah, so you've yeah. got uh, your brute and you've got your captain. So your brute could move one onto the steering wheel to didn't, defend it. Didn't the brute move? Did he? I think he did. Oh, yeah, he, I th I'm sure he moved and... Oh, right, yeah, sorry. I thought he attacked um, Waldorf. No, it was last turn. Was that last turn? Yeah, he's still no. not gone. Oh, Go. he's still not gone? Yeah, that's why we should be using the active right. kind. Right, yeah, so he's going to move on to here. Yeah. Can you attack those two? Yes. Yeah. So he's got two activations left. So. Three. Three. 
call activation lock. See, it's too old. For slaughtering my crew. He's going to spend that on whirlwind. Whirlwind! Yeah. Targets all zones in range, roll separately for each zone. So. so you could actually move forward onto the plank if you wanted. You can make some headway. Yeah, so move yeah. into there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We can move on to the plank. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. If you wished. Right. Uh, tram resolve over there. So, Viana. Yep, Viana. Viana. Yep. So she's got uh, four dice. I'm hitting on fours. Yep. Two hits. Yep. There. So she rolls six and five. Yep. Any abilities triggered from that? No. No? Two hits? Oh, sorry. For, hit, for each hit of a six, one friendly hero gains a coin. Yep. So give one to Gabriella. That's um, the first action. That's the first action. Second action. Yep. Gonna try again. Two sixes. So she's going Was she to hitting on fours? Uh, yes, fours. So I'm going to give those two to Don Santiago. How's he doing? Uh, he's on ten, we've got two wounds left. Right, so she's going to hit again. Cause yeah, so if you do two more wounds, it's two more wounds. Two more wounds. Two more wounds. And he's gone. Sorry, Ishmael, goodbye. That's another. Victory point. And another three coins. Three coins. And doesn't somebody else get three coins? Oh, there's your skills, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, smell no! So, uh, high cost of living, I'm going to buy that. So, discard any number of coins from Fiana, deal one enemy hero within two zones that much damage. If this KOs a hero, draw one time card. Okay. Yeah. So, you've got your crew left to activate. Mm -hmm. You've also got your deck gun to fire. Uh, no, no, I didn't find that one. Do you want to do your? Oh no, it's alright. I think because we're. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it's just really a practice really game, clear. isn't it's it? Pretty really? clear which way this is going. Uh, um, right. Yeah. Shall I? Do I need to move first with my crew? Or? Uh, you can do it in any order. You can do that gun first if you want. Find so that gun. Blast some of the crew yeah. off the face of the planet. Should we blast? Should we blast this? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Arr. So how many dice is it? Four. Four. Get on fours. Got four there. Nothing. No, nothing. They ducked. They've just gone. My crew is smarter than my, my characters. <laughs> they ducked. <laughs> right. Um, so now I. Do I bring on new crew? Oh, damn it. Could have used that prevention to it? Damn it. Never mind. New crew? New crew. Spawn two here. And two here. Uh, I need two more down at spawn. It's... You're not holding any more crew. <laughs> Where do you want? Um, on there, please. Yep. And, and two bosons. Two bosons. Uh -huh. uh, can I have them over there, please, the bosons? Both here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now they'll move. Yep. They move to there. They move to there. These two guys will move to here, won't they? Yep. These guys will move on to here gunpoint. whilst tripping up. Gabriella. She isn't safe because she's got like, alchemy fire and yeah, stuff. Yeah, these two will move here, won't they? Yep. Along with that guy. And, move and those two will move on to there. So these guys will attack these guys. Mm -hmm. So four dice. Four normal dice, isn't it? Put it on fours. Yep. One. One. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. So we'd roll again for the Kraken. Doesn't turn up, we're all double six. <laughs> and that's it. So there we recover any change any card cards we want. All these gold coins can go. Any black coins can be turned over. Yep. Yeah, so that's an example. I know I did a couple of things wrong. I don't I can't remember whether you kill Ward off in that turn or not. You might have gone twice, doesn't matter. This yeah. is an example of how it works. It was just an idea, wasn't it? And how not to play it if you're a deep lord. <laughs> so there we go. But anyway, now my heroes will come back on and valiantly win the game. What am I on actually? I'm on three rich points. You're on 
Five. Five. I'm not that far behind that. You're not actually. So I could come back and win it. Yeah. It is possible. All my objectives are safe. So I could swing across again and start to beat things up. Yeah. So yeah, it is possible to do. Well, it. that one's that one's free. That one over there. Yeah, it? I could spawn here and run across. Bang. Yeah, and that's one victory that point. That grand and... victory point. I could do the same at this side. Yeah. Even so, there we go. So yeah. Play of options, it's a cool game actually, do you like it? It is actually, it's a, it's a neat little game how it works. Well, I need to play it a few more times before we do a proper game. Yeah. That's when I paint the models. Oh, yeah. Uh, so either you'll see these guys painted or the original two crews once we get the uh, the add ons from mm -hmm. the Kickstarter, whichever happens first. Uh, well, you get the add ons and we'll play the undead versus the, the humans. The humans. From the first crew. The British. But from the from the first tide game. Mm -hmm. Or we'll get these guys painted and we might have another go. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, quick look at Roman Bones, tide, second tide. Mm -hmm. Please like and subscribe, it helps out loads. And join us again for some more cool mini or not games. Yeah. And take care, guys. And hopefully, we'll see you again soon. See you soon. Bye for now. Yar. 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 I don't then know yar. why I did that. <laughs> you, just, you just wanted to do piracy. I did. Aye, matey. Aye. Aye. <laughs>